Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Today I'd like to talk to you about Latch Preview Automation Mode. In our last episode, we looked at how to quickly create four-point automation envelopes in Reaper. We'll expand on that and start to look at other automation options. Let's take a look. The project I've got open is called Who's Who in Hell by Last Legacy. It's the same song that we've been looking at in the Preparing to Mix in Reaper series. Click the link above for a playlist of the videos in that series. In our last video, we looked at how you can quickly create four-point envelopes over a time selection. That's useful if you want to automate a parameter over time. We'll do something similar today, but the latch preview mode allows you to hear what that change is going to sound like before writing the automation. Let's take a listen to a piece of the song. Let's say, for example, we wanted to reduce the volume of the screams in that section. The first thing that I'd like to do is make a time selection. I don't have this mapped out, there's no project regions or markers, so I'll just have to try this a few times until I get my selection just right. I'll scroll down a bit to where I can see the, the vocal tracks, and this appears to be the screams right here, so let's grab this section right about here and take a listen. Make sure that I've targeted the right area. Well, that's definitely not the same one that I was listening to a moment ago. Let's try this next section. Okay, that's about right. I think I'd like to focus on those high-pitched screams before that lower one there. So I'll make sure that my time selection encompasses just those parts that I want to adjust. I made my time selection by left-clicking and dragging across the ruler, and I'm just looking at my media items here that show me where the vocals are that I want to affect. I do have a bus for my screams that's here on track 40. So with that selected, I'd like to create a volume automation envelope. Just like we did in our last video, we know that we can create a volume envelope by clicking the trim button and choosing volume. Or my preferred method is just to highlight the desired track and just press V on the keyboard. There we can see our volume automation track is written. To start, I'll change my global automation mode from None to Latch Preview. Take a look in your transport. Your transport may not be in the same place as mine. I've got mine down at the bottom, but if I right-click the transport, I can choose Dock Transport Position, and you can see there's a few options for different places. It doesn't matter where you have your transport, just as long as you know where it is. If I take a look in that transport, I'll see here there is an option for Global Automation Override. Now you can change automation modes on a per track basis, but in this case I'd like to change my global automation mode to latch preview. The description here says that this allows temporary override of armed envelopes, but it does not write the changes. I'll enable that, and you can see that the color of all the fader tracks has turned yellow. That just indicates that they're all in preview mode. Since I'm wanting to focus on this screams track, I'll highlight that track again and make sure that I've got that selected in my mix control panel here. With Latch Preview Mode engaged, I'm going to play the song and start to adjust the fader for track number 40, which is my Screams folder, and listen to how it affects the song. I'd like to just find what sounds like a pretty good balance for me over that period of time. That sounds pretty good to me there, and as you can see, the automation has not changed. The volume envelope is still exactly the same place that it was before, and that's by design. Latch Preview Mode allows you to preview those changes before writing them. Now to write that automation, there's an action that's associated with that. I'll pull up my actions list and do a search for Write Automation, if I can spell it. Now by default, these actions here do not have keyboard shortcuts assigned to them. These are shortcuts that I set up on my own. You're free to assign any keyboard shortcut that you'd like, but for the time being, we'll just work with clicking on these actions. The one that I'd like to focus on is write current values for actively writing envelopes to time selection. If I highlight that and run the action, then close my actions list, you can see that that automation has now been written and it will turn down the track just as we did in latch preview mode. We're currently still in latch preview mode. I'm going to change that to read. Now let's watch track number 40 as I go back a little bit. It should follow the automation that we've written. That seemed to do exactly what we wanted. Now there's a couple of other parameters that you may want to be aware of. Let's click on Options and Preferences, and take a look under the Editing Behavior section at Automation. There's a parameter at the top that says Action Transition Time. That's currently set to 30 milliseconds. 
Now, if I move my mouse over this, if I take a look down here in the lower section beside the Find button, that gives us me a little more information about this parameter, and that says the transition time applied when writing envelope ranges via actions. The default, I believe, is 100 milliseconds, but I've changed mine to 30 milliseconds because that works better for me. Let's change that to 100 and I'll show you what happens. Now right away that's done nothing. I'm going to undo a couple of steps to restore this to the previous volume. We'll switch back to latch preview mode. I'll move my screams fader down a few decibels again. Let's go back to my actions menu. Search for write automation. And again, the action that I'd like to run is write current values for actively writing envelopes to time selection. To clarify, what this will do is if I have made several fader movements over that period of time, when I run that action, it will write every automation that I've made, but only over the span of that time selection. You can see there's a couple of other options here where you can write the current values for all items from the cursor to the end of the project, or also write current values for writing envelopes from the cursor to the start of project. Feel free to use any of these that suit your situation, but for now we're just going to focus on the time selection. I'll run this action and close the actions list. And now you can see that this lead in and lead out is 100 milliseconds long instead of the 30 milliseconds. Let's go back to options and preferences. And this action transition time just dictates how long of a slope that you'll have before the automation takes place. Or more precisely, how long that taper will take effect until you reach the maximum value that you've written. Let's leave our global automation override in latch preview mode and adjust a few other values. I'm going to loop this time selection so we can listen and make sure that we've got what we want. Okay, I've made adjustments to the guitars folder as a whole and also to the rhythms folder. I can go back to my actions and run that same action again. Write current values for actively writing envelopes to time selection. And now if I go to those tracks, let's take a look at 19, I can see that a volume envelope has been added. And the same thing for rhythm, a volume envelope has been added. I'll switch back to read mode. And let's watch those faders. Anything that has a green backing behind it when we're in read mode, that means that that particular fader has automation written and the fader will follow the automation. And just as we've written in the automation, I can see that those faders are following as we would like for them to do. This is a quick and easy way to add automation to your projects. A static mix can sound good, but small automations over the sections of a song can really help to bring it to life. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee or the Patreon link below. I like coffee. The project I've got open is the same one that we've been using in the... Bell, can you sit down please? The dog.